This is I Wish I Were a Butterfly by James Howe. For most of the crickets in Swamp Swallow Pond, sunrise was a happy time. They came out in their tunnel dark homes and celebrated the light of day with a fiddler's song. But the littlest cricket was sad. I want to stay here, he told his mother. In the dark, she asked. What will you do in the dark? You must come outside to make music. Then I won't make music, the littlest cricket, said the littlest cricket defiantly. I don't have anything to sing about anyway. You don't want to come outside. You don't want to make music. The next thing you know, his mother said, you won't want to be a cricket. The littlest cricket sighed. Had his mother guessed his secret? I wish I were a butterfly, he said softly. But his mother didn't hear. Outside with you this minute, she said. The littlest cricket knew better than to argue. Out in the bright daylight he went, but he did not make any music. The sound of the other crickets fiddling was more than he could bear. Why are they so happy being crickets, he asked out loud. Perhaps they don't know what I do. And what is it that you know, asked a passing glowworm. The littlest cricket said, I know that I'm ugly. All crickets are ugly. Who told you such a thing, the glowworm asked. The frog who lives at the edge of the pond, he told me I'm the ugliest creature he ever saw. Well, said the glow glowworm, inspecting the littlest cricket with care, you're not the handsomest thing in the world, but you're far from the ugliest. Look at me, I'm no beauty myself. But you will change you into a lightning bug, the littlest cricket said. Well, I'll always be a cricket, an ugly, ugly cricket. I wish I were a butterfly. There's no use wishing for what can't be, said the glowworm, going on his way. Being a cricket seems fine enough to me. It's easy for him to say, say, said the littlest cricket. He will be a lightning bug one day, and the frog who sits at the edge of the pond will never find him ugly. What do you care what the frog who lives at the edge of the pond has to say? A ladybug asked from atop a daisy. If he told me I was ugly, I wouldn't care one bit. But who would ever say you are ugly, asked the littlest cricket. Everyone can see how lovely you are. I'm the color of a lump of dirt, but you, you are the color of laughter, if such a thing could be. The amused ladybug, this amused the ladybug. Perhaps you're right, she said, but then you must learn to be content with what you are and not mind what a silly old frog tells you. It's easy for you to say, said the littlest cricket as the ladybug flew away. Oh, I wish I were a butterfly. He jumped onto a lily pad and drifted across the pond. I'll talk to the old one, he thought. She'll help me. But seeing his reflection in the water, the littlest cricket started to cry. Why am I so ugly? He asked his mirrored self. Why can't I be a dragonfly like me? I don't want to turn. The cricket looked up to see a dragonfly darting about overhead. I couldn't help but hear you moaning and groaning, said the dragonfly. It isn't right to be envious of others, you know. It's true that I am a magnificent creature, but so are you in your own way, I'm sure. Humph, said the littlest cricket. You fly around with your whispery wings and your body all colored with jewels and tell me I'm magnificent. Please, Mr. Dragonfly, go away. You don't understand. You can understand. I wish I were a butterfly. Well, you're not a butterfly and never shall be, the dragonfly said firmly. And wishing is a waste of time. The littlest cricket blinked and the dragonfly was gone. It's easy to be happy, he thought, when you're a glistening dragonfly. It's easy to be happy if you're anything but an ugly cricket like me. In the middle of her web on the other side of Swamp Swallow Pond, the old one was waiting. I'm good at waiting, she told the cricket once. That's a spider's life, spinning and waiting, waiting and spinning. Today, when the old one saw the littlest cricket hop off the lily pad, she could see how sad he was. It's a lovely day, the old one called out, and lovely days are too short to wear long faces. What's wrong, my friend? I'm ugly, said the little cricket. Who ever told you that? asked the spider. The frog who lives at the edge of the pond. I'm the ugliest thing that ever lived. Oh, how I wish I were a butterfly. The old one began to laugh. Butterflies are pretty enough to look at, she said, but they're no more special than you. Not special, cried the littlest cricket. They're the most beautiful creatures in Swamp Swallow Pond and maybe in all the world. I wish I were as special as that. The old one said nothing but continued to laugh. I thought you would understand, the cricket said. You don't en envy the butterfly because you're so beautiful yourself. The spider stopped laughing at once. You think I'm beautiful, she asked. The cricket nodded. But I've been told I'm the ugliest creature in Swamp Swallow Pond, maybe in all the world. The cricket looked surprised. Did the frog who lives at the edge of the pond tell you that? Not only the frog, said the old one. Why, well, if I were to believe what everyone says about me, I would think myself quite, quite ugly. 
But I don't believe everyone you see, and I certainly don't believe that grumpy old frog who lives at the edge of the pond. I believe you because you're my friend. You think I'm beautiful, and so I am. You are beautiful, the littlest cricket said, but I'm as ugly as can be. I still wish I were a butterfly. The old one asked the littlest cricket to follow her to the water's edge. Look, she said, what do you see? A beautiful you and an ugly me, replied the cricket. What do you see? Two beautiful friends. The cricket glazed at himself for a long time. Am I really beautiful, he asked at last. To me you are, the old one said. More beautiful than any butterfly I've ever seen. The littlest cricket looked back at his reflection. To his surprise, his ugliness began to fade away. Suddenly a gust of wind rippled the water. Look, said the cricket, turning around. Your web, the wind has blown away your web. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, well, said the spider's fed. I must begin again. Wait and spin, spin and wait. It's a spider's life, but it would make time pass more quickly if I had some music to work to. The old one began to spin a new web. The littlest cricket began to fiddle. And a butterfly flying past heard the sound and said, What beautiful music that creature makes. I wish I were a cricket. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I like that story. That's really Isn't that cute. just cute. That's really precious. That's got to be one of them.